Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Gloucester Catholic is being brought to you by NJM Insurance. What a matchup in Linwood as Mainland hosts the Coaches versus Cancer Classic. St. Augustine, the defending non-public A state champion and the third ranked team in the state versus Gloucester Catholic, the defending non-public B state champion and the 10th ranked team in the state. It's one of South Jersey's premier rivalry games, and it's the Diamond Nation game of the week. We pick it up in the bottom of the third. The Hermits lead one to nothing, and they have the bases loaded. Rob Reddy with a chopper to the left side. Kevin Foreman scores on the play from third. Reddy with the RBI ground out to make it two nothing prep. Jason Hoops is up next. The Virginia commit flares a single into right. Anthony Sofren races home from third. Hoops feeling good at first as he makes it a three nothing ball game. The Rams trying to find a way out of the inning. Tyler Cannon to Ryan Nutley to Luke Lesh for the 4-6-3 double play. And Gloucester Catholic limits the damage. Bottom of the third, Hermit starter Cole Vanderslice is cruising. The Villanova commit earns the strikeout. He keeps the Rams off of the scoreboard through three. GC starter Anthony Solometto starting to really settle in here in the top of the fourth. The sophomore North Carolina commit gets his man swinging to end the inning. Vanderslice still dealing in the bottom of the frame. The senior gets his man looking to end the inning. Still a three zip ball game through four. Solometto goes back to work in the top of the fifth. Anthony Solometto with another strikeout. He fans nine over six strong innings of work. Vanderslice working with the bases loaded in the bottom of the sixth. He induces the ground ball to Kenny Lavari, and that gets St. Augustine out of the inning. It's Lavari on the bump now to pitch the seventh, and the Old Dominion commit slams the door shut to earn the save. Three to nothing the final as St. Augustine wins it. Cole Vanderslice throws six shutout innings and allows just three hits. The Hermits lost to Bishop Eustis earlier this week, but they pick up a huge win here against Gloucester Catholic. I'd say this is a big one just because of everything that we've had between these past three years, between this rivalry, and uh, with them being as good as they are and us needing a big win here, I think the way we came out, shut them out, everybody made plays behind me. Um, that's the biggest win we've had so far. Well, I mean, it's always fun playing these guys, and this is a big win for us, especially after losing to uh, Eustis. We're a good team. We know we're a good team, but we haven't been showing it in the big games. Today, we finally got one. So the Hermits are now 11-2. The Rams drop to 8-2. In Linwood, Mike Frankel, JerseySportsZone.com.